Hello and welcome. I'm Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. This video is about understanding the record selection filters in Avaya Proactive Contact. Record selection is the method to filter out the records to be called from the calling list on a campaign. From the editor application, you are able to specify the criteria for your selection and the records meeting that criteria are selected on the selection. But there are some invisible filters also that come into play while selecting the records. In this video, we will look at how these filters work. So to explain this, on my screen, I have a funnel type diagram with different layers to it. Each layer here can be taken as a filter. You can view it like you pour the complete calling list through this funnel and going through these layers of filters, the final output are the records selected on your selection. This picture is just a depiction these filters don't necessarily work in the same order as shown on the screen. So let's talk about the first one. The status flag field in the calling list record tells the system if the record is callable or not. If the status flag field is anything other than a blank, that means the record is uncallable. So all the processes like a do not call or a duplicate rejection process, etc., write a character into the status flag field, which makes the complete record uncallable. So at the very first filter, all the records that have a blank status flag field pass through to the next filter and all those which have something written in the status flag field, which means it's an uncallable record, are discarded at this very first filter. Now coming to the next filter, which is the criteria you input on your calling list fields. For example, in the given screenshot from the editor application, I have two groups acting in OR operation if either of the groups meet the criteria, the record is passed through and for those which fail both the groups are discarded at this filter. This is a very basic criteria in the example. You can have even complex combinations of criteria depending on your requirement. The next one is the criteria for time zones. Here you specify the time zones that you want to select. You may select all time zones or some depending on your requirement. The records which have the time zones from the ones that you have selected here are passed through and the ones that you have not selected are discarded. The next filter is that for the release codes. Here you would select the release codes for your selection from the editor application. So basically you are selecting the records where the code field in the calling list has either of these completion codes that you have selected here. The ones that meet the criteria are passed through and the ones that don't are discarded at this filter. The next filter is based on your strategy that you use for your record selection. Although you are required to provide the name of the strategy for your selection, this acts like a hidden filter. For example, in this screenshot, it's showing a strategy having just one initial phone, that is phone one. Now let's say in your calling list, you have two phone fields, phone one and phone two. And for some records, the phone one is bad. Maybe there is no data for the phone one field or the phone number itself is a bad number. But the phone two is a good number and is callable. So in this scenario, since your strategy is not having a line for phone two also in the initial phone setting, such records will be discarded by the selection. The ones which have a good phone one will pass through and the ones which have a bad phone one and a good phone two will still get discarded even though there was a good phone too. And so eventually the final output would be the selected records on your selection. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.